Welcome back guys in this video we'll see how to set up Google Analytics for your WordPress website so let's first see what a Google Analytics is as you can see this is at present we are at a real-time page of Google Analytics uh, here you can see how many users are at present there on your website and they are on which page here is the active page list so I at present I have four different users uh, two of them are using uh, desktop and uh, Two of them are from mobile okay and they are on different pages here is the keyword section so basically it says that two of the users uh, out of four are for, have you know searched on Google for, for some keyword and they are they have landed on my website and here is a map where you can see from which location they are visiting my website so this is very very uh, you know useful for any kind of website especially for e-commerce website you can see traffic sources from here and so on when you click on audience and overview you get an overview of what has happened for last few days for example we are seeing an overview for uh, last week so at, uh, as you can see yesterday around 700 people visited my website and here you can see total users uh, that have visi visited your website in this last week uh, number of sessions per page per session it is 5.72 it means one user has approximately visited five pages on my website average session duration is three three minutes four seconds it's it basically means that uh, at an average uh, one visitor has spent three minutes on my website and here is the languages section uh, 2400 people uh, were, uh, that visited my sa uh, site were using English language and few of them were using Hindi, few Arabic and so on. You can see the list of countries. So most of the visitors on this site are from India, then Pakistan, then Saudi Arabia and basically these are all Asian and African countries. Then we have some from United States and Oman and so on. You can also see the operating system that most of them are using. So most of my users are using Android operating systems. Few are using Windows, Samsung and so on. So this is very, very deep, you know, just to go through all the uh, you know features that are available uh, in Google, Google Analytics. It will take a lot of time. So without wasting time, let's see how to set up Google Analytics uh, for our e-commerce or any kind of website. So for that, come back to your website, open your dashboard in a new tab. And remember, this is really important. It is not like any just uh, some stuff that you, uh, that you can use you. If you don't want to use, you don't use. It is not that. It is really important. You must have this. If you want to survive uh, in the business and if you want to, you know, expand, then you must, you need this thing because you want to know about your audience, what products are they interested in, what is the age for uh, what, what country are they visiting uh, my site from what is the time uh, what is the peak time when most of the users are visiting and so on so this really helps you in targeting your product and targeting your audience okay so once you come to your dashboard uh, how our plugins click on add new we'll be using a plugin called google analyticator this is very very important plugin so in the search bar type in google analyticator There are many different pl plugins for that. For example, GA Google. This is the one we are using, but there are many different plugins. For example, Google Analytics and so on. But you know, I'm using this one. So I'll select this Google Analyticator by Sumo Me. Click on install now. Click on activate. It says plugin activated. Okay, now we need to create a account on Google Analytics here I already have an account so I'll use a new gmail account so that I will show you the steps that you have to go through to create a new account so I log in uh, through that account so as you can see when I select that account I'm getting a sign up page it is loading okay so I have to create on this button sign up button then if uh, we are using a uh, website but if you're using mobile app you can select this we are using this for our website so we'll select website 
it is my new account name it is basically your you know company's name so you can select your company name over here then here it is the website name it is udb at present then full url of your website you can just copy the url from here and paste it over here then select a category that befits your website okay so we will select uh, you know you can select anything actually let's select shopping for this one you can select the uh, reporting time zone if you want make sure all of this are ticked mark now click on get tracking id okay click on i accept Now come back to your website uh, once you install that plugin at the left hand sidebar you'll see something called Google Analytics click on that now here uh, if you want you can just co copy and paste some code from here but we'll uh, use a very easy method so just click here now select the account this is the account click on allow ok now copy this code from here paste it over here click on save and continue ok it says google analytics integration is currently disabled so just turn this to enable and as you can see when we do the, when you do that this thing is automatically created if you remember we just created a UDB account on Google Analytics so it is automatically uh, created and selected make sure it is universal and not traditional and it should be yes for this after you do so just click on save changes now scroll down now it says track all logged in WordPress users I would say no because basically when you when you're visiting your own website you don't want to get tracked it will basically show that huh, someone is uh, there on your website from Mumbai but basically that is you yourself so we don't want that so make sure it is selected to no and also make sure uh, everything over here is sele selected okay so basically it means that uh, they won't be uh, tracking the administrator the editor or author or so on on the website or suppose you want to track yourself uh, you want you want to show yourself also on the google analytics then you can deselect everything and you can make this thing yes if you want and method to prevent tracking should be removed and the rest everything will be fine everything is fine let it be as it is now click on save changes now again come back to this page uh, and click on this home button okay now you should be seeing this at present it will because it is not tracking now uh, it takes around one or two days and uh, after that uh, if everything is co correct then we, they will start tracking your account and they'll start tracking your website they'll show you how many users are there from which country from which source uh, where they uh, uh, did they visit from Facebook Twitter following your link or they you know, visited directly or they searched on Google and then visited your website I have seen many different tutorials are there on YouTube free tutorials you can if you want more in-depth knowledge on Google Analytics which I recommend you should have more knowledge a uh, very in-depth knowledge you should know how to use Google Analytics how to read this different data and you know interrupt this data and uh, uh, accordingly what changes you have to take what thing you have to focus on so for that for more in-depth because this this course is not about Google Analytics I'm just showing you as a bonus lecture so that you know you can use Google Analytics on your website also but if you want to get into deep go ahead uh, maybe you'll find some course on Udemy but for on YouTube it is for sure there and that that too you can wa watch those videos for free so I recommend you guys to go ahead on YouTube search for Google Analytics tutorial and you can have more knowledge uh, about Google Analytics so this is it for this lecture see you guys in the next lecture thank you for watching